Red Cups and Conversation. Let's talk to the streets. Red Cups and Conversation. I'm your boy Snap. Episode one. Hey, I got a special guest in the building. This afternoon, man, we Why put it to together. Hey, y'all, we need to make some noise. We got Cheddar Boy Malik in the building. You hear me? What's the deal, fool? I'm angry. You're baby. Uh-huh. Hey, look, Malik, listen, we about to get into a lot. You with me? We about to get into a lot. We going to get down on it because I know your fans want to know where you been at. What's the word? I've been you know stacking I mean? money out the bundle. Stacking money out the money, right? Bundle, bundle, bundle. Okay, cool. But look, Lee, look, we're going to run through it one time. You know what I mean? Get my cousin off the phone one time. Who's that on your phone? Don't worry about that, Lee. I got you, my G. <laughs> but look, Red Cups and Conversations. Your boy Snap in the building. Okay, then. Hey, look, what we do here is we celebrate our victories of our legends in the city, right? And we're going to kick this podcast off with Cheddar Boy Malik one time. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to dive in here. I know we got a lot of, lot of um, questions that we got to cover. And I know a lot of people want to know what's been going on with you. So, Lee, first of all, I want to start off with walk me through um, how your success story or how we got to where we at now. Like, talk to me about when you first started doing music. Um, fuck. Well, you know, you know I'm in the 40 gang right now, so... Um, I was actually 12 the first time I ever went to the studio when they had ADATS and DATS and all that shit. Shout okay. out to my dude Earl, shout out to my big sister Trina. But I wasn't really I wasn't really trying to do no music. Like music came from my big brother. Like him and his brother, him and his partner was doing that. And then when SP got killed, he got murdered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I told my boss, I said, bro, I'm, I'm your partner now. Don't even trip. Yeah. And I just had to take on that that task from there. Like music wasn't my thing, you know. Gotcha. So when music wasn't your thing and then you took on that task, um, did you join, like, when did it become Cheddar Ave or Seven Faces? Did No, it always been Seven Faces because I can, I, I, I can give y'all the rundown on the Seven Faces part. Like, let's talk, let's get into that. Like, my whole family. Yeah. All the girls have to have the tattoos. I don't, all the kids are like a tribe. But the Seven F does mean, like, my mama got eight kids. Yeah. That mean everybody got seven siblings. Oh, that's where the seven faces come from. There you go. That's genius, my G. I love that. You I love that? it. I love it. I'm right? Eight kids. Everybody got seven siblings. So, so out of the out of the seven faces, where did the cheddar Ave come from? See, like the, like the word cheddar and shit. We 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 we, we developed that like my big homies back in like eighty eighty nine. They was doing that. They got tattoos like old as shit. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my cousin Ben anyway. Shout out to Tito. Shout out to the rest of the world. Uncle Week. I'm saying them boys had tattoos like that's like from the eighties, eighty seven, eighty eight. When they say got they got Cheddar Boy tattoos pool, so we, we had a little block that everybody hustled on. On Sierra Toko, so everybody called everybody, everybody was a Cheddar Boy because everybody making some money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then after my seven face thing, then the Cheddar Boy shit and all that bullshit. Um. Actually, one of my white boys like, nigga, nigga, you got the whole block banging, nigga. This is like a Cheddar Avenue. Yeah. You let your white boy call you a nigga? Yeah. All right, yeah. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. He That's got a partner. good family, though, right? Yeah, he part of something. Yeah, without a doubt. He means something. He's yeah. an asset, so it wasn't nothing. Gotcha. So, he called me a nigga, not a nigger. Okay. So it was it's a, a difference. difference. It's a yeah, I like yeah. that. It was a difference. So we, did, we got seven faces, then we got Cheddar Ave, right? Mm-hmm. So... Out of the seven faces in Cheddar Ave, was you solo as still, a solo artist, I still, or I still own all of it. I'm not even a solo artist. I'm, still, I'm still, how about this? I own all of it, but everybody that's fucking with me on both ends, we all the owners. So we when all did, business partners? So. When did it become? Um, I'm the one with the EIN number with the tax number and stuff. Right, like right, that, right. So. so when did it become um, Eastside Cheddar Boy? When they came Eastside Cheddar Boy, that's like me, white, tax, tough, all this was like, all this shit happened like by mistake. Like us going to the store, we happened to see it, all of us at the store. Like, nigga, what the fuck you about to do? We about to go to Maharis Park. Fuck right. it. No, so was fuck they? all of us rapping. Fuck it. We were going to call each other. We going to be getting money. Cheddar Boy. So we going to keep it. Say it Gotcha. By mistake. Like, I named it like crazy. Like, fuck Cheddar Boy. We from the Eastside. Fuck it. Eastside. Da, 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 da. So yeah. that's how the name came about? Yeah. Y'all just... me, and, me and White Bob was in the... In, in, uh, 
We was it was two thousand actually. Um actually, That's the same year Be- the songs and Be- the album Le- dropped. Ninety nine really, but we did everything two thousand when it dropped. Right. Be legit actually gave us the PBI the please believe it records part. He actually named that. I named it Eastside Cheddar Boys. You so you I, named it? I actually okay. named it. Me and White was riding uh before he went and picked up his BNC he's riding it. We was riding in a two thousand Grand Cherokee, which was his auntie's. We had to pull up on Cheddar Ave in Amdale. We were taking his auntie's car. He said we was gonna name each other. And I got this shit on film. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Okay. When, I, when I released this uh huh document, but document when you it's real footage. You can't say nothing is Photoshop. So. Yeah. So let's 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 dig a little deeper into your story, right? So, here we got. You asked Malik, and you hooked up with Wipeout. You hooked up with Tough Tone. You hooked up with all of them, and y'all formed a group My called family, yeah. East Side Cheddar Boys, mm-hmm. right? The first song y'all recorded together as a group, you know what that song was? I was take, I yes, I do. Okay, Actually, let's get I into think, that. I think we did three records that day. I had never met Tough Tone. Tough Tone was one of the, um, yeah, was one of the white partners, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So... Um, me actually, me and White were still riding that same blue. He was riding his auntie car. We wasn't riding his men's because we were shooting whatever, we, whatever we was doing. That may be rest of peace to White. But um, we was riding. Um, he called Tough, and Tough, the first day I met Tough, me and Tough went and did a Killer Thug shit. We did the Killer Thug song. We did the Pop Your Collar song. And then we did the song with Breed. MC all Breed. in one day. Yeah, all in one day. Rest peace, Breed. All in one day. And Tough was a monster because after we did those three songs, bro, I had never met this dude a day in my life. We did them three records. We left there and White, like, I got to shoot some, shoot a move. I was riding with White. My car was way back on college in Gunston. Yeah. Tough got to pass me. So I'm like, shit, nigga, shoot me to the hot. You know what I'm saying? We just met, so we cool. White, like, shit. Tough, tough, shoot him back your way. This nigga tough. I'm like, man, baby girl, them cooking. My car in the driveway. They cooking. There's two chicks there. We cooking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That nigga tough. Like, we gotta shoot to the house first. Yeah. Now we shoot to this house. I think we about to get some weed or something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Then we get to the motherfucking house until his, well, his, well, his little spot. He like, will you drive? We drive his Bonneville. We got a, he got like a, a clean ass old, like a Bonneville or. Do something, whatever it was, it was an old ass clean car. Yeah. And he like, you drive, cuz. So I got the pattern, see him to sit, I mean, the driver see him just sitting there waiting to come out. And it's like, we parked on this side of the street. That nigga came up with two tech nines with 32 clips to him out. I brought one for you, cuz. <laughs> Listen, cuz, put it back in the house. We right. don't got to go. Right. You don't have to stay with me. Yeah. Put your guns back up. And yeah. it's the first day I met him. The wow. first day I met him, bro. So tough, the first day you met him is a, right tough, it, I swear, he tough a monster. Him. Yeah, you was family. Shout out so, to my nigga Tuck. So, let's get into that, man. So, what was that experience like, right? So, you said y'all recorded three records, right? And you ain't never, never met Never met this dude a day never in my met, life. Right. So, what was that experience like to do a record with him, like? No, it's like we bonded because we got... I, I don't think I never even said this ever, but Tough know what this is. I pop my nine and I do my time, but I will not sign on that dotted line. You said that the first day we ever met. And every time we see each other, you know what that slogan means to his heart and to my heart. So, so, so from from that point on, y'all created these records. Then we came up with the Cheddar Boys album, right? Actually, the album came by mistake. We were just in the studio. Anybody was in the studio to fuck with us, like text you here. You got a verse for it? Yeah, I got a verse for it. Like, what you doing? Fine. You got the verse for this. You got it. We was, it was fun. It was like, niggas got a million dollars worth of cars outside. Yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas got all this drink. They got money. Yeah. It's hot. They got pretty bitches, pretty yeah. whores. You know what I'm saying? They, da, 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 da. Niggas still come in this raggedy ass studio with these <laughs> big ass racks, yeah. bro. Like, for what? Yeah. So, who, what, who car was it to come out with the lead single off of that project? The streets. The streets called it. We didn't. Now, name. did you know the song was gonna be big as it was? Nobody knew nothing. And what song was that? Cheddar boy baby. Cheddar boy baby. Cheddar boy baby. 
Who was the baby on there? That was Wipeout Son. That was Wipeout Son. Actually, shout out to Cheese right now. They shout call, out they call them, That's 4 2 Cheese right now. Yeah. Shout out to 4 2 Cheese. He had another record on that, um, on there too, dude. Yeah, the bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> to them joints on there, right? He was only like nine. Yeah. Like 10 years old. Free my brother coach, because he the one wrote them motherfucking records. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, look. He wrote them hooks for Lil' Cheesy, though. Like, they sat there in their little room and did it on their own self. Hey, Whatever they came out and did, they did it. Hey, I just need to talk about the success of that record right quick, right? So, to this daily, we, it, this song came out in 20... 2020. 2020. 20, no, 2000. 2000. And, yeah, 20 2000, right? We yeah, 20, 20 years down the line. When people hear that song right now, we still go crazy in the club. And I still get a check. <laughs> and you still getting a check for it, right? Still get a check. But Lee, how does that make you feel, man, when when this generation, knowing that, come to find out that you the author, hey, shout out to the check, to the... Um, yeah, shout out to the check. Yeah, shout out to the check. Shout out to the check. Right? Yes. You want to shout the yeah. check out, right? That's how you know the business is right, right? <laughs> so, but you make this. a mistake and say that. 20 years down the line, we still get a, 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 a check for a record. That's 20 years old. That's older than some of these dudes that's in the industry, right? Oh, boy. But, Belief, right? That record, how does that make you feel when people find out that you're the author of that record, that you was the one that actually was the one that was rapping those lyrics, man, 20 years down the line? I, 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 I mean, like, people always ask me, like, I don't know how I feel. Like, I don't, I don't, I mean... I don't deal in feelings, I deal with them, so I don't know. Yeah. I just, when I see people, that's like, thank y'all, God bless y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so after we did, came out with I'm a Cheddar Boy Baby, we followed up with what, Old Boy? Oh my. Oh my God. Right? Oh boy. So let, Old Boy shook the city, man. Right? Shout, shout out to everybody who had the fights. Right, we so look, them clubs hey, up. shout out to everybody that told the clubs up. Listen, that was like our knuck if you buck at that time, you feel me? So when that came on right there, that old boy, everybody got clicked up. We start rocking with our group, right? It was like mm -hmm. the knuck if you buck, right? When that little John and that knuck if you buck came out, right? We right. was all in that boy D exactly. fights, everything, right? We was turning clubs the up. The fight might jump all way over there and shit. We don't got nothing to do with nothing. The girls start fighting. Right. So it, it was so it was so repetitive, the hook, right? Anybody was just catching on to just the old boy because it was so repetitive, right? Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, y'all start making y'all way through the city. So y'all east and had west side cats messing with y'all, mm -hmm. right? And you yeah. start gaining love from both sides, east and west, right? We all Let, we, talk about that experience. We right all quick. we all let's listen, get into that. Everybody from Detroit, I don't give a fuck what city you from, whatever city that you rock with, or wherever you you can be from St. Louis, Massachusetts, Boston, Natchez, Massachusetts, Mississippi. I don't give a fuck. I'm saying, listen, everybody got to go. Everybody from the hood. Everybody want a million dollars, don't they? Yeah. I don't give a fuck what your race, your, your nationality are. You can be white, black, Hispanic, yeah. Arab, Cal, but you want a million. Everybody want to have a family with a million, right? Yeah. So who ain't thriving to chase that? Yeah, that's my honey. Who not? Just tell me who you think in the world that's not trying to chase whatever they call the American dream. So, Lee, question for you. So, y'all had, at this time, you got two records on the radio. Mm -hmm. Y'all said y'all was a group. Or it wasn't even a, a real group. Y'all were just uh, some fellas that got together. And now y'all got two records from the biggest happen, records in the city of Detroit to, make some to nice music. Right. So y'all got two records, like, and you running around town, hitting mm -hmm. all of these shows, performing. When did you, like, oh, man, this young serious. I got to take it serious. You know, we really popping out here. We really that group. Like, what, what clip? How old was I? How old was I? The first time somebody ever paid me to do a song, I was 16 years old. Shout out to my dude, Ant, man. You know what I'm saying? Cornwall, every year. Um, I actually wouldn't rest in peace to Rob Lee for my dude from PDQ. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out to PDQ, Six Mile, whatever, forever. You already know it. It's always up. But a PD, um, I went to go do a song for my big brother, Coach. Be my brother, Coach. For his, just one of his best friends. And this one was eight dats and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I went to go do the record. Actually, the big homie bit my beeper. I had the beeper. Mm -hmm. So when he called me, like he hit my beeper, I hit him back with my little mini burnout. You know yeah. I mean? 
He like, oh, what you gonna charge me do the record? I'm like, shit, give me fifty dollars. Yeah, I'm sixteen. What record was up. that? Just my man record? Or? Actually, I got the record. I'm it gonna was a feature. It's, it's gonna be in my document. Yes. Okay. Uh, on my fe- uh, yeah, it's a, a feature. Um, I'm like, shit, give me fifty. I'll leave this trap. You know, so I'm in yeah. a spot at the time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm at the Nick house, boy. I'm selling knickknacks. Yeah. Nick at nights. Yeah. <laughs> So we're long through short. Um, hey, shout out to the Knicks. Yeah, shout out to the Knicks. Uh, ain't nothing like the Knicks. Um, <laughs> that would start from you. Right, I, right, right. I take the fall. Right. I ain't trip. You owe me one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and the fall came a long way. Yeah, man. it came a long way. That was real, man. Yeah, that was real. That was real. Yeah. We need that dot. We need that one to get the, the, the uh, whatever. We just want a residual customer. Yeah, I ain't tripping. Yeah. Right. Keep coming. Thank you. Four dollars. Um, keep your customer. But no, we actually get to the damn studio and um. And now I get there, yo, I'm like, give me 50. That nigga said, shit, dog, I'll give you, I'll give you 400, dog. I'm talking about, I'm looking for $50. Like, I would catch a cab at 16. I would catch, I would leave my spot. I, got, I would do the song for free. I'm happy to be in the studio. I'm happy. Like, nigga, you calling me? Yeah. At 16 to come do a song? Yeah. I said, give me 50. You said you'll give me 400? Yeah. I am on the way, like, so fast. Yeah. I caught a yellow taxi cab, man. All the way to the studio, bro. From Seven Mile and Hayes on Fordham. To a, to a studio, long to be short. Going in and did it. And they gave me 400 and a half ounce heart. Wow. Shout out to the half I ounce did. heart. Hey, look. And listen, whoever he was. Hey, half ounce heart. Whoever right? he is. Yeah, thank whoever you. he is. Right? God bless him. Hey, yeah, right. I wasn't prepared for that. Hey, look. Lee, so, look. So, I'm gonna say personally, man. I I want to salute you. You know Not what I mean. I want to I want to celebrate you, right? And in that cup is a red cup full of victory for you. you with me? So I the purpose of this show, right? Of this podcast right here is we celebrate our legends. We celebrate the people we love and support the city of Detroit, right? And what we do, I just want to salute you one time. Throw your cup in the air, right? I can't let everybody know what I'm drinking. And this is all right. Whatever, whatever brings you the victory. Now he say, don't we'll right? keep. We're gonna do some red cups. Right. So look, one time, man. I just want to say, man. It definitely ain't no cheap shit though. Either. The city of Detroit love you, man. We thank you for everything that you do, bro. I thank you back, bro. Right. But I, I just want to dive, dive a little deeper into your story, right? So now that you got two records out, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me how Gator Capital came about. Oh no! Shout out to my, like I said, shout out to Be Legit again. Be, be Legit, the he the he the composer of that. Listen, listen, Be Legit was just there, like he was just like giving us. I didn't know that, bro. That's crazy. Like, I really didn't know he, that. Straight up, he is the one that when the when the Cheddar Boys say PBI, yeah, that Please Believe the Records, he that was his idea. He gave it to White, and then that was our thing, but. Gator Capital, that right. was like like a Mo Green. Like he was happen to be in the studio at the same time. Be yeah. Jabber. Like everybody happened to just be there. Like Mo, shout out Mo. Shout out Mo Green. Yeah. Shout out Mo Green. Shout out to the West Side too. Shout out to Selma, Sunderland, Seven Mile. Um, he just happened to be there or something right now. If you was at the studio right now and all this is going on, yeah. you like I got eight bars for what? Yeah. Well, put your eight on there. Put your eight on there. There you have it. It wasn't we didn't structure not one song. Now look, Lee, y'all we got some some street dudes. Ain't nobody know nothing about no business, no none of that, right? How did y'all start taking it serious to the point we like, oh, I gotta make sure my business together. So twenty years down the line, you still because, getting a check? Because there's three people that actually understood the business. There it is. So you trying to say you was one of those pioneers? I'm the one that knew the business. My G. Earl, so, Earl, Earl showed me the business in 1997. Juvenile showed me the rest in 1999. Okay. They showed me the business, the points, the royalty part. Shout out to Juvenile. Shout out to Juvenile. Shout out to Earl Smooth. I love you, baby. Right, right. He's a lost your brother. Real talk. Yeah. I'm always there for you, but Rest in peace. Yeah, they showed me that shit. Yeah. They showed me this points. They showed me what this shit mean. The royalty. They showed me this shit, though. Yeah. So, Lee, who walked the, the record into the radio for them to pick it up? Or was it the streets? You didn't have to. The okay. streets did it. The streets did it. So they called and looking for me. Who the fuck is the two? Hey, yeah. you know, what was dude's name? Uh, Spud. Spud, you know, they called him. Spud like, from, you um, know, shout out to Dr. Darius, my Dr. baby. Darius, yeah. Um, they called, like, 
They they looking for us now. Right, right, right. They call them for Because y'all like, got the streets man, on fire, right? Man. They like, what's the record? Can y'all get, get us that record? record? Yeah. Can you get them in here? Yeah. Like, who is these dudes? Without a doubt. We coming in, here go a techno marine watch with some diamonds on it. Yeah. Like, might buy you a jacket with our shit on it. You know? Now, what age was you at this time, Lee? About 18? I was 19. 19, yeah. I was 19. Yeah. Shout out to live action, because that's what I was fuck with yeah. first. Because I remember, so I remember going to school, Lee. And only thing that was in my headphones, bro, was Rock Bottom, mm -hmm. Street Lords, and Blade. Shout out to her, right? Nutty, This is up? before, like, a Tone Tone. <laughs> this is before a KDZ, like, all, before I knew who these guys was. You know what I mean? It was mm -hmm. y'all, and y'all was holding it down for the city for summers after summers after summers. And that's all I had. And I'm burning these disses, and I'm giving them to people, and then y'all popping up on different Blu-rays, and... <laughs> I know, I, 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 know this for the, I know this for a fact. If being independent, I know this for a fact. I'm one of the person that's right. So most CDs, stuff. I'm feeling like even hand on hand. I sold most CDs I know than any nigga in this city, bro. Yeah. Hand on hand, bro. Yeah. Without nothing digital, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about anybody's section, anybody mixtapes, you know, that shit. And I, I, I know I got the most checks if you was doing hand on hand CDs. You can Google this. Yeah. Now, Leek, I wanna um I wanna switch gears right quick. So after we did, after we brought up those records, mm -hmm. tell me how did we do a bid come? That was a mistake record too. But okay. it was facts. But it, it was, was solo facts. too though. Okay. So how did you go from a group to having a solo joint to get on the radio? Because now now was that the streets or was that just you? I'm gonna tell you what happened on that. Right, let's, just, let's get into I that. I just made like 60 bands. You know, actually, the 60 bands was a bust. Shout out to the 60 bands. Shout what out is? to the 60 bands. Shout out <laughs> to the 60 bands. That'd be a nice thing. Right, right, right. That 60 <laughs> bands was a blessing by mistake. Yeah. So, so, so uh, the, the 60 bands was a nice view for me at the time. Yeah. I'm looking at it like, damn. You know so I went and bought a truck. I was the first nigga in the city with that black Armada. Okay. Um, and it was paid for, so long story short, yeah, it was paid for the time. It was paid for, yeah. Okay. Paid. Okay. Um, shout out to the payoff. Yeah, shout out to the family. <laughs> yeah. That was like 2003. But long story short, I bought in a banner truck. My nigga G Feed sold me his little Tiger Woods Rolex. I think I gave him like 9000 for it. I think it was a price for like twenty two or something. Okay. But, was, but I had bought that. Yeah. And um, I bought the truck. I bought the watch. And I happened to be waiting on the chick. Matter of fact, I... Tough Tone and his girl was ready. We was about to surprise White Boy because White Boy had got that big ass crib in Atlanta. Who shot the video in Stackhouse? Jerry Stackhouse. Oh, that's. Shout, 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 shout <laughs> to them boys over there on Carry and out of drive. See, I, look, we gotta get into this, bro. Shout to Dave. Shout to Dave. Thank when you, When I Dave. seen that right there, bro, I was, I was, I was over the moon, man. See, I, I was I, lost. I, I met. I couldn't I, understand. I actually met Stackhouse. A reason I, I can't tell y'all how I met him, but. When I met that house by mistake again, it was just being me being out, me being me. I bumped into him, and just happened to meet him, and we was dealing. You know, we hung out. Yeah. You know, I met his wife. You know, on his yacht and everything. You know, what I'm saying we having fun though, actually. And then um, I happened to call him one day, like, "Can I shoot a video at your crib?" Yeah. He said, "Yeah." Yeah. You like go out there, the door open. And what song was that? I got, we did a chat away, baby. <laughs> Swear to God, man. He said, he once he, he said, <laughs> yes, I can come to his house and shoot a video. Would you believe I had people that didn't have a license? I'm talking about people had their kids with them. Like, they had the raggedy as fucking cars, bro. Like, yeah. we in some, I'm talking about like the, I'm talking about my, bro, my whole neighborhood. Yeah. My whole neighborhood. Kids and all, kids ain't all even had it. The kids' hair wasn't even done. Look all at that video. video. Yeah. Man, we fucked that nigga house up, man. Yeah, I believe it, man. We got tickets on the wall. Because when we seen dog. it, we was, we was blown away, man. I Shout out to Jerry it. Stackhouse, the 248 now. Uh, we fucked your house up, man. Yeah. I apologize, man. <laughs> we fucked your house up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I stood on top of that nigga Bentley, yeah. bro. I stood anti his Bentley, his mm -hmm. drop top, dripping water. Mm. I still don't bike anymore, the one to pay for the business. Mm -hmm. I still on top of this Cadillac, nigga. 
That's what was on top. The, 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 the white one stood on top. It had a dent all in the shit, bro. I swear. <laughs> Kids run through this building. I'm talking about his carpet was wet. It's <laughs> muddy. I'm talking about like, man, niggas upstairs, bro. Yeah. He ain't supposed to be up in this man's house. Yeah. He said we cool outside. Yeah. Man. yeah. And we fucked this yeah, house. I took up. over. Shout out to Stackhouse. Hey, shout out to Stackhouse. I don't know man. what you paid to pay for all that shit, but thank you, bro. Oh, thank you, man. Sweaty but look, but look, Lee, so we get into Do It Big, right? So Do It mm-hmm. Big is your first solo joint on the radio in the city of Detroit, right? Mm-hmm. So you got this record, and this record just solidified you. As no, a, no, no, it, it solidified us. It solidified y'all. Because it wasn't, it wasn't, no, it, I said us. Okay. You, me, him. It wasn't just a... It wasn't just about a dude. It wasn't about just about me. It was like, I like who that. haven't went to sleep high and who have not woke up the next morning high. Yeah. Tell me. That's right. Hold on. You the one that met a chick, whatever the case can be. Yo, it could be your wife, your girl, your whatever. It can be a girl with her dude. Anyway, who haven't woke up high the next morning and still had the same clothes on? Yeah. Yeah. And, and Russian. That was- and, and you Asian, said that you, Japan, you said the record spoke white, for black. everybody. It's a unisex song. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, Leek. So when you was on the radio, right? It was I looked up to y'all, and I looked up to other people that was on the radio as well because y'all had a voice that was bigger than the four blocks that people grow up on. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So y'all was taking our message into taking it to the world. You know what I mean? And that's why we gravitated to y'all so bad mm-hmm. because. Like you said, we did experience that. You know yeah. what I mean? And you took that experience that we had and you globalized it. Hey, Lee, listen, hold on. I want to get back to where we was, right? So we got, we do it big on the radio, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's pumping through the city. Like you the only one in the city, right, with a song on the radio at this time. Why? You, you, ain't, you ain't had no competition. Guess what? Well, talk to me. Still get that check, still get that check, still get that check. Shout out to the check, check. right? Okay, yeah. So look, so you got this song on the radio leak, and um, now we hear you on different features. We hear you on different features, man. We hear you on, um, we hear you all over the place, right? So then, Leek, what happened was me personally, I kind of jumped out of the game, right? Because I started raising my family. You know what I mean? It's definitely family first, though. Right, and you were still working. I was still hearing your work on the radio, different songs and things like that. But before we go into another place, Lee, I want I wanted to know um, your views on something. So when I bring up when I bring up these names, man, I just need you to tell me how you um, how you feel when these names come to mind. What's the first thing come to mind when I say these names? So mm-hmm. I just want to yell out a couple of them. Jesse James, man, another legend. In the, in the city of Detroit. I fought with the Lord. I fought with the Lord, man. You know what I mean? Dude, I ain't never had no bad stuff. So, and he's from Detroit, so I always fought with dude. Like, regardless of what people okay. say, regardless of what people talk about and what they say, that's, I still, I can see Jesse right now. That. You feel me? Yeah. And guess what he's going to do? My baby. <laughs> it's going to be the same thing. So you can go to the next Street Lord Wine. That's definitely self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. I, w- I wish we could have finished the album. We already did six songs in one day. We had a whole album done in four days. But free my nigga wine. You already know what it is with us, baby. It's up. You hear me now? Wipe out. Look at my face. What that tattoo say? Yeah, wipe out on the face, okay. on the okay. cheekbone. That's, that's another self-explanatory. How you feel about Jay O'Neal? J O'Neal, I've been knowing that I've been knowing J O'Neal since he, before he was even J O'Neal. Like I can give you another name that he, he did. Was, some, he, you ever did a, um, you ever did any, he ever did any mm-hmm. tracks for you? Mm-hmm. What out of that? Mm-hmm. Actually, um, he recorded. He gave me a beat. I'm gonna tell you some real ironic shit. He gave me a beat, and Lady Blade, which is Little Blade. Little Blade, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She recorded. Shout out to Lady Blade. Shout out to Lady. Shout out to Lady Blade. She um recorded one of my records that he produced. She happened to be over there, and I showed her how to record, and she started recording, and that was dope. Shout out to Lady Blade, Lady Lil Sus. K D Z. Definitely a no brainer. <laughs> um, um, 
Me and him got a, we got we got a show coming up right now. Return of the Legends, that's what they call us. But I ain't never they had to leave to retire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so just switching gears right quickly. So now we jump into a um a very dark place, right? So I jump on social I like media. Being, I like being dark. Bet. Like I jump on social media, man, and I see your face, man. Um, mm. all on the, all on Facebook, all mm. on social media, and the police looking for you. And I That's look up, up yeah, I look up under the title, man, and it said you was in some shout questioning. Shout to the police that's looking for me. No, we ain't shout out to no police, man. That's what my name. No, no, my name the count. Ha 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 ha. Shout out to them, y'all looking for me. Yeah, huh. find so me. We see, we see your name, huh. man, and um. We see your name, bro, and your name is um, for some questioning on for some legal issues. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, Leek, I kind of felt a certain type of way because I'm like, no, that's my guy. And I know you personally, mm-hmm. right? I know your character. Mm-hmm. So I know what the legal issue was. It ain't had nothing to do with you. And it was a murder. You know what I mean? So I'm like, no, that ain't my guy. You know what I mean? Which one are you talking about? I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I just know I saw... You on social media, right? I don't uh-huh. know what this situation was. I don't know nothing, uh-huh. right? And next thing you know, from that situation right there, I look up two years later, right? Uh-huh. You out. Right. You feel me? And when I saw you, only thing I wanted to do is just celebrate your victory. But you said, you said, you said, you said legal situation, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah. No, I did, so you definitely celebrated with me, and then, but you got people that say stuff, how the fuck is he out, how he out? Yeah. You forget, fuck, I went to goddamn trial. Yeah. Like, I'm saying, like, I went to trial, like, fighting a murder, like, I mean, you Let's know, get into that. I'm not a robber. Right. I'm not a seeker. I'm not a leecher. Right. You know, if, 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 if. Why would I go rob some goddamn kids and knock at this car dog and say, like, bring me four of those and two of those? Right. Yeah. Yeah, and keep them. Right, right, right. You hear me now? Right, right, right. Four of those and two of those. Right, right, right. just keep those. And, and that's that w- two, three hundred thousand. So who the fuck I'm robbing that's under 21? What that's it. Got? What do you have? Yeah. What do your mama buy you? Your yeah. daddy bought you, your auntie. That's all you have. And see, Lee, so that, why? And, that, and that's what my thing, like, I know your character. So yeah. when... I saw you after all the smoke cleared. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to celebrate the fact that you was able to get clean from that because mm-hmm. a lot of people, especially us, is black, right? You get you, any, yeah, you get any you. type of yeah, tie-ins with that legal system. Mm-hmm. They gonna try to tie you down and pin certain stuff on you, and for Absolutely. you to beat that. Absolutely. Only thing I wanted to do is just celebrate your victory even more. Yeah, a, you know what I mean? That's a message. Without a doubt. Right? So so shout out to you for even beating that because mm-hmm. it's a lot of young people in jail, bro, and they still in that boy off life. That's you know a, what I mean? Just off of people, Then a lot of people are scared to fight because I'm saying they got to prove this amongst you but, but, um, beyond a reason, reasonable doubt. So it's like, how could this go unless you feel like you was guilty? Yeah. Like, give, give it to me. Yeah. I fought my whole life. And I have I ain't robbed or shoot or kill nobody. You got nothing. I just happen to meet, you know. I just happen to just pull up on you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Man, bring me a sweet tea. Right, right, right. I bought some sweet tea, baby. I yeah. bought some beers. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know it, but the other they coming in so with the meetup. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with me. So nothing. So it had nothing to do with you nothing. at all. You clean, nothing. right? Nothing. So the thing that once once I found out, like, the, the meat and potatoes of the story, mm-hmm. right, I, I get another alarming story, right? And the other mm-hmm. alarming story was that, sad, oh, my gosh. So now we start working, and we working on a project that you got coming out, actually, right? Absolutely. On the 20th of February, 2020, right? Shout out That's to your the project. That's in some days, right? In a couple oh, yeah, days. shout out to my project. Yeah, shout out to Lee Project. Right? Shout out to my project, hey, goddamn. I'm so, hard on this. So, look, Lee, while we working, right, and we trying to, and we putting down business, we doing business together, right? Absolutely. We hear another alarm. I hear another alarming story, right? And it was about some snitching situation. Give it to me again. Come right? On, come on. So, now, I'm like, dang, your name got brought up under two things. You know what I mean? Like, you right. can't even get a break. 
You know what I mean? So it's called the devil. Leak, I just want to give you the opportunity, right? Uh-huh. To just jump into that and, and, and let's let's go there, bro. Like when you heard about this, what was your expression, man? My expression, like I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even like dealing feelings. I deal with them, so it's like, like you and I know what's going on. God know what I know got going on, so I don't like me. Hold on, I'm fighting your, I'm fighting a whole case that I don't have nothing to do with. So, if I was snitching, that, don't, don't, what that, don't you get like least time, or, or they give you like less, or your charge get low? Right. I'm fighting fifteen counts. Mm. 15 counts. And this was off that murder? Off the murder with the boy. Okay. And it's his people. Yeah. And you got the boy on the stand. I don't even know this fella. My, this don't say Detroit. This say like Wipeout. Right, 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 right. I'm saying if you know me, you know what to say. I don't even know this fella on the stand that's saying I did this. I why he came in and said this and that. Okay, where's that person at? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But guess what? I'm going to fight this whole case. Yeah. So I would have been a gangster if I got convicted. Right. I'd have been a gangster if I got convicted. Yeah. Man, real ass nigga, man. You took that shit. Hold on, check this out. Hey, listen, Lord, you talk to them, y'all figure this shit out. Yeah. They came in with cops, 20 to 25. They come back with 18. Huh? Listen, come back with 13. Don't go to trial on Monday, man. Okay, listen, I'm going to fight your whole case. Yeah. I'm sitting here fight my life or I'm going home. Right. And I ain't talking to saying nothing. Let my love talk to y'all. Yeah. I sat there for 13 days. Yeah. Snitching on who? Yeah. So you telling me that if, if people pull that paperwork, your name ain't nowhere on it? That's what they say, how I come out. I don't care how they play it. Yeah. Your name y'all ain't nowhere on it because... Y'all know the truth. Yeah. Y'all know the truth. Like, there's 300 people coming to court every fucking day, bro. Yeah. Testify on who? Yeah. Ain't that when you supposed to do a statement or something and have a statement and all that shit, that mean you telling up somebody to get some cheaper time or something or something? Yeah. Man, I'm going to trial, bro. Yeah. Spend my own money, bro. Yeah. I didn't ask for no handouts, bro. Yeah. I didn't even call my family for a handout, bro. I had one of my partners came through free smoke, bro. Free smoke. Free smoke, boy. Y'all know the truth, boy. Y'all know the truth. Okay, so if I if I didn't want the prison guy, he's found guilty. He a real ass nigga, I'm telling you. Oh now he beat the case. Man, that nigga must be telling or something. Yeah. Oh he fought another murder case, and he fought another one too. And he beat it. Yeah. Oh, and see, Lee, that's that's crazy because sometimes when people can't get down to the bottom of certain stuff, man, and they don't know how bless how blessings work, you know what I mean? How blessings from God work. What God do y'all know? You with me? Certain stuff get pinned on a person. No, you no, know what no. I mean? What God do they know? That's good. What God do they know? I don't know. What God they know? I know what God I know. Right, and let me tell you this: sometimes y'all, for everybody that's listening, that's sucker shit. Let me bro. tell y'all something. Sometimes blessings, you can't, you can't, you can't, it's no science to blessings, right? So when blessings happen, you just got to allow it to happen. You know, sometimes when stuff don't, when two plus two don't equal four, you can't say, oh, it's a trick behind it. Right. Right? You got to understand that when a person is really blessed, right? When blessings from God come, right? You be in situations that people can't explain. You don't know how the blessings come, but he do. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? You don't never know what God doing. But he do. Without a doubt. I, mean, I just laugh at it. It's like, it don't make me nothing. I don't feel, I don't feel unlike, uneasy when I don't feel no, you know, because the social media can take everything far left. Yeah. And I'm so right. Yeah. Have you so seen so him since? Seen who? Have boy, you, boy. Yeah. I, can't, I was at his coming home party. I was in that, I came in there by, my, by myself. The Lions was playing the Seahawks. I came in there with a lion's robe on solo. I got pictures. I got footage of everything. Now, I came this, in there by myself. Now this I got was, pictures and footage. I was by myself. We hugged. We took pictures. Now, now, whoa, whoa, whoa. To now let's slow up. Like, uh, let's slow up. Who, who, now let's... Wait, wait. Now, Y'all know what I'm talking Now watch about. this. Now we're going to back up a little bit. So old boy who, who actually got pinned with the murder 
actually ended up doing that time, getting off, and you said you was at the coming home party? Is that what you're saying? No, actually, Boy Boy did like 10 years. He did 10 years off of that murder, and then you he came but it home. Wasn't even, but it wasn't even for, it wasn't even for that case. That, like, for that was, totally that was some fair case. They just ran it concurrent to get any type of time. Right. From him. You right. Know what I'm saying? Like, we know you did it, we can't prove it, but take this cop. Yeah. We caught you with some dope, so we go to dope and whatever the fuck, how they play, but it's 10 years. He did his 10. Right. They ran it concurrent. Woo woo, he did 10. But the nigga that actually did the testifying, he did like, I don't even think he out yet. Right. Now, when when boy came home, you celebrated his coming home by he, yourself. He, he had a come home party, and I pulled up. I I got the footage, and I got baby girl to vouch. She, she pulled up. I had a robe on. I was watching the Seahawks play the Lions. And I pulled up by myself, 8 Mile, the King of Diamonds. Hey, that's real, Lee. By I myself. take my head off of On God. I, mean? I pulled up by myself. Yeah. He seen me, gave me a hug, tried to give me some... With a bottle of Moet, and I tried to give him, a, I think, a fifth of Patron or something. Yeah. Well, it could have been the other way around. Yeah. He tried to give me a drink. I tried to give him a drink. You're like, bro, we are talking to me. We took some pictures. Actually, I can call. Shout out to 300. He the one got the footage. I can, I can pull it out. I mean, I can release it anytime I want to. Yeah. So oh, that's a lie. So if, 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 if. if if it was a situation to it was a situation, it wouldn't have been a situation that w- where everybody walked out of there that day. Yeah, y'all wouldn't even rub shoulders. Thank you. Yeah. So people say what they say, but do you mean what you say or you say what you mean? Talk to me now. Yeah. I'm having a red cup conversation. Yeah, can I get a toast that Come on, man. Real. That's right. on God. I'm going everywhere by myself. 100. So, Lee, look, fast forward just a little bit. So, mm-hmm. now we off of that, right? So We do a beer still give me a check, though. We shout out to four brothers. I love y'all. Hey, Thank for that right, movie. Shout out to the check. So Lee, shout, look, yeah, shout out to the check. To the check. Shout I always want to check. shout out the check, right? Ah, shout out to so, the check. So Lee, look, let me show you. So now, Lee, you got all of this burden off you. You didn't got you didn't beat this murder. You know your your name in the clear, right? Your I mean, name ain't tied down nothing, I'll right? I don't owe nobody Lee, nothing. Lee, the city love you, man. I love them back. You know what I mean? The city love you. People still doing songs with you, man. After all of this time. After all of these years, bro, people still reaching out to you, man. That's and you my, still that's, blessing records, bro. That's what I think. I told you that's what God got me here for. Yeah. It ain't just about me. It's about y'all now. Yeah. It always been about y'all, but you know it had to be about me for a minute. Let's get into that. Back to, you said, you said how people can't do this, how people can't do that. You can do anything you want to fucking want to. But the little dude just asked me. I can't be Malik, dog. No, no, listen. The, no. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it come out your check. Shout out to the check. Shout out to the check. Right? check. So, hey, we gonna always shout the check just out. Asked me how do I get a check? I said, listen, bro. I said, how do you not know how to get a check? Yeah. I'm like, what you got? Ask got BMI. I said, I got BMI. Yeah. He said, man, I got thirty two thousand views of my one song. I said, did you register? Yeah. He said, no. How do I register? I said, damn, when we lock you right quick. <laughs> See them getting that? Yeah, I'm with you. Locks you right quick. Yeah. But you know, I said you, I said you on Instagram. You say I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I said, damn, that's what I'm looking like. If your fingers work to get on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, your fingers should work for you to download your shit just like this. Right. Twitter fingers. And where's your check? Yeah. But you'll go on Instagram. Facebook and all this bullshit, which you want to download your own shit to your own account. Yeah. I said, when we box you, he ain't know what the fuck I was saying. I'll rape you right quick. Yeah. I'll set your shit up for you. Yeah. But I'm only giving you 20%. Now, now, look. <laughs> you see what I'm getting I'm that up? I'm with you, big bro. No. Man, nigga, 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 nigga been cheating me. No, you cheated yourself. Your own self, man. Yeah. Don't be mad because somebody else seen the vision better than you. Yeah. You didn't listen to your own vision, bro. Yeah. You're a fuck. Do you think that happened to a lot of artists yes, in the city? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, right now, right now, right now, it's happening right now. Okay. As we talking, it's happening. Now, now, Leek, I just want to jump into some real fast. So you got a project dropping February twentieth, right? Who produced it? Who produced most of the record? I produced most of the record. Oh, right? oh, oh, oh! What we said? What what day? Hey, February twentieth. We you got a project? February. Right? So what so year? What year? Twenty twenty. You got a oh, project? Oh, this oh, so year. Are you trying to interview me? Oh, 
I'm saying, so you said February the 20th this year? February 20th. What's today? Today, the February what? 13th, 14th? No, today the 15th. Oh, Our today the heart day was time. yesterday. Oh, oh what? We passed yeah, that shit. We passed that. the bar. Without a doubt. That's So right. you said February to what day? 20th. Huh? Yeah, 20th. 20th what? And then 20 what? Yeah, 2020. Oh, who produced most 20, of 20, that? 2020, 2020. Oh, oh, that's that. I like my money in 20s. It's like hey, 2020, 2020, 2020. Right, that's so look. All deuces. All hey, shout out to your new project, man. Leek, I do want to tell you, man, I love you, bro. I thank you Lay for you taking Appreciate your time it. out, man, just to do this interview on this uh-huh. podcast with me, man. The very first podcast we have. And, I, and you came and blessed it, bro. You I just want to miles, wish baby. you all the success on your new up-and-coming Thanks. project, Lee. Um, and I just want to say, man, on the behalf of Detroit uh-huh. and on the behalf of, 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 of Red Cups and Conversation, we have for ED, man. We love stuff. you, man. We want to send blessings your way, man. Black MP, baby. And everything you, see, you touch you is blessed. You see what this shit man. say, baby? You see what this say, baby? Talk your stuff, man. Yeah. Hey, look. So, look, oh, what can they all get? Your mama should have swallowed you. Your hey, mama should have swallowed you. Your mama should have swallowed you. Your mama should have swallowed you. Hey, Lee, before, before, before we get out of here, before we get out of here, you can't tell the people me. how to you reach you. Me. You better reach me. Tell the people how to reach, reach you. Reach if they want you for a feature or anything, man. Let me say, call Snap. If they nah. want you for a feature or anything, call man, Snap. You, you want my Instagram? Call Snap. Listen. You want my Facebook? Call Snap. You want my Twitter? Call Snap. You want anything from me? Call Snap. Snap, 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 snap my finger. I can Y'all make a lot of shit. Don't jump in his DMs. Don't jump in my DMs, right? Jump in his DMs. Guess He's the go to guy. Call snap. <laughs> Call Thank snap. You, I love you, man. Um, love you back, bro. Thank you again for blessing this platform, bro. And more blessings to you on your new up and coming project, Thanks, bro. bro. And let's, let's go for round two. And let's set the city on fire, man. You with me? It's a blessing. I'm with God you. bless, man. We out here. Red Cups and Conversation, oh, man. Wait. Thank Tell y'all for tuning God in. Bless y'all. God bless until we meet again. I'm ready to blow Deuces. Up. You ready to Red Cups and Conversation. Let's talk to the street.